What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we have the best possible VC glitch on where you cannot even get banned while doing this glitch it is simply playing the game and this method glitch method whatever you want to call it is going to make you around 20 to 30 thousand vc per hour so guys if you are new make sure to smash that sub button drop a like and all that good stuff that'd be greatly greatly appreciated man we're gonna get right into this glitch it is super simple now sometimes it could get boring it is playing the cpu but we are going to get into it step by step it is very 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 easy so let's get into the video all right guys so you want to go to nba then you want to official 2k sports roster you click on that then you want to go all the way over to the all-time warriors okay so here we go you want to click on steph curry and then you want to go to edit player and then after, all right, so on edit player, you want to make him 7-7. You want to make him as tall as possible. After that, then you want to go over to uh, attributes. And you pretty, wanna, pretty much want to make all his shooting 99. So layup 99. Uh, let's see. Close shot 99. Mid-range 99. Three-point shots already 99. And then, yeah, and also ball handle 99. And that's pretty much it for that. And then after that, you want to put his steal to 99. So you want to put his steel to 99 and then you want to put his speed to 99 and, the, and you also want to put his vertical and strength to 99. So that's pretty much step number one. That's all you want to do to Curry. And now we're going to get into the next step right now. All right, you guys, step number two, man, you want to go down all the way down to badges. It's right here. It's under contract. And then you just want to put all his shooting badges to hall of fame so every single shooting badge you can think of needs to go to hall of fame so outside scoring just put everything hall of fame guys this is what you want to do everything must be hall of fame every single mate every single one so make sure everything's hall of fame um pretty much man every just do every single one it doesn't really matter but if it's every single one this vc glitch will be a lot easier so every single one is hall of fame now we are going to head into step number three all righty guys so step number two okay here we go you want to get out of here you want to do keep changes and return and then you want to go all the way down to andre Iguodala. okay then you want to go to edit player and you pretty much just want to make him trash okay this is the easiest thing you want to do so for his body you're going to make him five four you're going to make him the smallest possible size and we're going to go over to attributes man we're going to make his ball handle absolutely trash so wherever ball handle is that is what we're gonna do, man. So let's see. I'm pretty sure ball handling's over here. So you're gonna make his ball handle a 25. And then you're also gonna make his tendencies all the way down. So let's see if we can find it. Um, okay, I actually think it's over here. So, okay. Tendencies, you wanna press it a couple times and you wanna make his drive all the way down to zero. Okay, that's pretty much all you wanna do. So now after that, so this is number step three you want to back out and you want to do keep changes and return okay now you press b and you press save roster okay all you want to do so i'm going to name my bugs so i do remember man and now we're going to get into step four um these are two teams that do not have another active players in the roster board indeed when you start my league probably feel do you wish to continue yes okay so just press yes do you wish to continue all right just press yes on this one just press yes all righty so now let's see all right so now pretty alrighty so here we go you want to go over to cp user sliders and then you want to go to user and you want to put your three point success all the way up as well as offensive consistency all the way up and then we are going to get into the next one one second once we do find offensive consistency and here it is right here all the way up okay so honestly i'm just gonna press save settings for now actually no I'm not okay now we're gonna go over to cpu and we're gonna show you the next step okay all right, so now for the CPU, you want to put uh, ball handling at zero. So wherever ball handling is, that's what you want to do. So you want to press L2 once to go to the CPU, as you guys can see in the top left of the screen. So ball handling at zero, and then you want to put take inside shots and close shots at zero. Now you want to save settings, okay? Um, new game sliders, I'm going to name it bugs as well. 
so that's pretty much the next step man um after that man we're just gonna show you uh we're just gonna save save game sliders all right here it is let's make sure yeah everything's good all right so next up what you guys want to do you pretty much just want to save all that stuff i just show you then you want to go to play now okay now you want to do 1v1 you want to press okay so what you want to do you want to go 1v1 then you want to go here use your created roster left on the um left stick down so there we go and you i've chose that one it's bugs and then you want to go like this and you want to do uh I already did change roster so then you want to go over here you want to put game conditions to five okay make sure you put game conditions to five you press advanced so you want to go over here to the warriors wherever it is here we go steph curry on your team and then for this one you want to do andre Iguodala. warriors you want to do steph curry oh you know why yeah steph curry is player one and then andre Iguodala is player two as you guys can see my man steph curry is super tall and andre Iguodala is 5'4 so let's get into it all you want to do now is press advance and we're going to get right into this game and i'm going to show you we're about to make 200 vc in literally one second all you want to do is just do this as fast as possible literally just get the ball shoot get the ball shoot get the ball shoot the game will end in 30 20 to 30 seconds and you will just constantly do this you'll make about 200 vc plus per game so what you want to do just let him score literally just let him score Okay, he scored quickly. Just spam A, get the ball, shoot. That should be money, money. All right, so just spam A, spam A, spam A. Let him shoot quickly, quickly, quickly. He made it. All right, cool. We're just going to get the ball. We're going to shoot. That should go right in. Money. All right, there we go. Next door. This is literally one second. Let him score. Go, Andre Iguodala. Little five foot four beast. All right, here we go. Uh, another shot. We should make it. And that's it for the game. So we just won the game. We scored six points in about what two seconds and we're getting our vc right there so now we're gonna quit out and we're gonna see how much actual vc we made i'm pretty sure we make about 200 plus vc per game so let's see how much vc we actually got for that glitch um it's very easy i'm pretty sure i had about 100 vc or whatever vc it is it's pretty much plus 200 so as you guys can see this glitch is pretty solid and our vc is up about 300 vc so we're gonna go back into another game and we're gonna actually show you how much we get so let's do this again if you guys didn't see um we're so we have 825 vc so what you guys want to do i'm going to show this one more time you go to blacktop you go to 1v1 you press change roster user created roster bugs and then you um advance it hold up and you want game conditions to five you put the game conditions to five you press advance you go press y twice you go over to warriors you add steph curry and then you add andre Iguodala. and there it is he's small again so let's see how much vc we actually got because i did not check down my my vc count so let's time this okay once the game starts all right let's say once the game starts it's like three hours and what the only thing is the loading screen. The loading screen is actually longer the game. Okay, the game started at 325. So let's see how long this takes. Sorry. 25 seconds. Okay, for the game. So 25 seconds every minute. So, all right, we got our VC. Let's see how much VC we actually got. So that took about a minute for both those games. Um, so a minute done. Let's see how much VC we got. Hopefully it's like 250 to 300. If you think about it, it really does add up. So let's go over to my team real quick. And we're about to show you how much VC we actually did get. So we had 825 VC before doing that game. And now we're going to go into the next game. And we have an extra 200 VC. So I would say 400 VC per minute, okay? 400 VC every single minute you do this glitch, okay? If you do the math, let's see. So 400 times 60. 400 times 60, which is 24,000 VC per hour. Let's say 20,000 VC per hour. If you do... Let's say 22,000 VC per hour times 24, okay? 528,000 VC a day. That is the easiest method ever. Now, if you're a grinder, it's literally the easiest thing, okay? All you could do is just watch Netflix chill and get free VC. I mean, if you make 500K VC per day, you're saving $100. And I know you guys want to spend money, so definitely try out this method. Other than that, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.